25 members of the executive board of UNDP, UNFPA, UNOPS, UNICEF, WFP, and UN Women visited Uganda for one week from 28th April 2018. Uh, we consider uh, Uganda as a model uh, where the UN uh, collaboration with the government and the local governments is exemplary. And we have come here to study the situation here and also to, to learn your uh, experience. The visit was to traverse Uganda from the Hasso and Basso of Kampala, the capital city, to the lush mountains of the Karamoja region, to the refugee settlements in the West Nile region. Here the delegates talked to UN staff and partners, government officials and community members about the problems they are fighting. Child marriages is the global problem, it's not problem of your country. And uh, it is affected uh, particularly in the low-income countries. And UNICEF had in other industries had a holistic approach to combat this uh, problem. Do you also have the feeling that maybe um, the generation of your parents who are a bit older, that, that they need to be informed maybe better about women's and um, girls' rights, also when it comes to early marriage? There should be sensitization among the community so that our parents will stop this is supposing girls to get married early and it can educate our girls also sometimes they will not go to get married early because they will know the dangers of early marriage. We were able to talk to the people and uh, hear their stories and, and how they were eager to, to have their voices heard. Um, people that have been wa walking three to four days. Um, for me it was a very impactful experience and uh, very, very good to see the UN working together on the field. Uh, I know that you are, uh, as uh, you have indicated today, that you are hosting about 290 refugees with a ratio of three Ugandans to one refugees here in this district, which is a very high uh, ratio. And you are providing uh, services in health, in water, in roads, uh, which uh, I think you are sharing the meager resources you have with this uh, spirit of, uh, of, of, of fraternity, altruism, which I think will go in history as something which is unprecedented. In their travels, the delegates sought to find out how the issues of good health and well-being are being addressed. How small as it is, this is what we do ANC here, that is Altimento. We do Postinento, we even have a mother here, we have not yet discharged. The board also witnessed how the UN combats hunger among communities. The UN has supported us in the form of institutional strengthening, peace, security, enhancement, environment, and social protection. What we need is for the local administration to be able to continue and maintain a project that has been completed by the UN system. Very often in many countries what we see is the UN comes, starts a project, completes the project, and once the project is completed, there is no way of sustaining it. One of Uganda's development challenges is its high youth unemployment. The delegates witnessed the handover of a skills building youth center from the UN to the government of Uganda. So thankful to you and behalf of the ministry. We shall make a report to the minister on what is happening here already because she wants all our young people to have a skill. The tour was concluded with government meetings. Right Honorable Prime Minister, I'm delighted to note that the joint board meeting that you see in front of you have just returned from a visit to the field. 
at the field level, they were able to see what does it mean to implement the National Development Plan, including Uganda's famous refugee settlement transformative agenda. Refugees could, if worked on properly by the international community and recipient countries, turn out to be a blessing in disguise. And therefore, Uganda is doing this without any apologies, without any, we regard it as a major duty of humanity, support humanity, whenever part of humanity is in distress. But as for coming as Uganda is to refugees, the Speaker of Parliament had demands she put before the UN board. We have been talking about the need for financing our infrastructure. If you go to West Nile, the roads that were built for the local governments have been destroyed because of the trucks. They were not made for the big trucks of the UN to drive food into those rural areas. So we need support for infrastructure, we need to support our local governments. The last stop was a visit to the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yuweri Kaguta Museveni. And so, the visit came to an end on a positive note. UN and the government of Uganda are committed to their continued partnership on development and humanitarian work.